Here's an example that's a lot like one you'll see in the homework. Uh, you're given two graphs. The graph in blue gives the uh, number of non-cesarean section births, actually, between the years 1970 and 2015. And the graph in pink or pinkish purple or purple, good thing I'm not a fashion expert, uh, but you know the one I mean. That gra This graph right here gives uh, the number of cesarean section births between the same years, and it's in millions. The outputs are in millions. So uh, what you're asked to find in this problem, you're asked to find B minus C of 1975. And you know that that's the same thing as B of 1975 minus C of 1975. It splits up. In other words, you subtract the outputs. Oh, so what we do is we use the graph to estimate these outputs. As long as you're close, you'll, you'll be able to identify the right answer in the online homework. And uh, that's all there is to it. So B of 1975, okay, look at the graph in blue. Okay, go to the input of 75. Look at the graph in blue. It looks like uh, the output is, uh, I don't know, two, let's see, 2.5 million would be here. Let's say 2.7 million for that height. Uh, as long as you're close, you'll you'll get you'll be able to figure out the right answer. 2.7 million, and then minus C of 1975. Well, there's a half a million. Five, in other words, 500,000 right there. So I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's 400,000, 300,000. As long as you're close, you'll you'll be able to figure it out. So what would that be? Uh, 400,000 would be if we use 400,000, about 0.4 of 1 million. You have to use the same units here. Do the subtraction and you get 2.3 million. And if you look at the problem, I didn't actually read the problem to you, but it says, what does this number re represent? This number represents how many more non-cesarean births there were than cesarean section births. And that's it.